Hi, everyone. I am so excited because I am speaking with Kara Rauda, and this is her latest book. I think it's her seventh book. The Next Wife comes out May 1st. Oh, this book. I hug books when I love them, Kara. I don't know if you do that, but I do. Like, when I get done with it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to let it go now. And I did not want to let this book go. I don't think in the last at least six months, I've read a book as fast as I read this book. I could not turn the pages fast enough. And unfortunately, it's the first book I've read of yours. And I do have the others on my ever-growing TBR that never seems to ever... <laughs> right, right. Too, but yeah, I can never like chip away at it. I am so happy. Look at this cover, everyone. This is just, when I got this in the mail, I was like, oh, my, it, it's so perfect. And after reading it, it's even more perfect. We're going to let you talk about this because I do not want to give away any spoilers. And then we will talk, but I, I couldn't wait all day yesterday. I finished it yesterday and I'm like, I can't wait to talk to her. I can't wait to talk to her about this book. It is so good. So I'll let you speak now. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thank you for hugging my book. I think yeah. you'll like the other books of, like Best Day Ever and Favorite Daughter. You might want to hug them too once you get around to them hopefully, because they're kind of in the same vein. And like you said, it's really hard to discuss domestic suspense without giving too much away. It wow. really is. And that's, yeah. So that, I mean, I guess you pretty much summed it up. It's the next swipe. No, I'm kidding. You can say a little bit more. <laughs> The next wife. I mean, when we hear that, we're like, right away, even that title, right? Yeah. I, you know, and, and it is, it's a story about John Nelson and Kate Nelson, this loving couple who built a business together and a family. They have a daughter, Ashlyn, and everything's going swimmingly until John falls in love with his executive assistant, Tish, and marries her. So she becomes the next wife. So you've got John and Kate still running a company together, and then Tish, the executive assistant, still coming into the company too. And and that's where the story opens. <laughs> and it does open. And like I said, the chapters, I love thrillers with the short chapters and the way you would end the one chapter, like it was impossible to put down because Yay. you did it from, okay. So the beginning of the book is we have John's point of view. who We don't like that much, but we won't say, you know, I mean, come <laughs> on, had an affair with the story. So we're not liking him that I mean, much, you know? Come on. Yeah. Come on, John. <laughs> Come on, John. Come on. I'm sorry, John, Roger. John, John. Don't be a cliche, John. Don't be yes. a yes. No. John is John is a cliche when we meet him, but he feels bad about it too. He feels bad. Yes, he does. And he should. Yes. He should feel he bad should. about it. And he'll end up feeling worse, I think, too. Yeah. Yeah, he feels bad about it. Kate, so we have her perspective. Okay, we have her point of view. But Tish's, like right from the beginning, before you know anything uh, much about her, people, I'm telling you, read every word. Do not think you can skip because she puts things in there, backstories in there, and then you're getting to know her, not up front. You get to know her as it goes. And I'm going to read my favorite line because it's not a giveaway. Well, we're not going to give it away. I'm just going to read my favorite line. I even put a bookmark and I hate putting bookmarks. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't I get it. <laughs> it's at the end of a chapter, of course. They're at their place. Where's their their winter getaway? They're in Telluride. Yeah, Telluride, Colorado. I know. I was like Colorado. The city was escaping me. And he saves her. They're out on this little walk, and a rattlesnake kind of comes by. Tish. He, he saves her from the rattlesnake. You hold her back, right? And she says, he says, that's a rattlesnake. John adds helpfully. Danger lurks around every turn, as they say. Nice of John to save me just now, wasn't it? Not smart, but nice. And I was like, I, my mouth, I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, smart, he just saved I, I Anyway, that's why I don't always bookmark quotes in a thriller, but I found myself liking so many of Tish's little things along the way, I should say. You, did you love writing her? I did. I, I really like writing uh, characters with kind of a dark sense of humor. <laughs> and that's what she has. I mean, the orientation in the world to me is very, uh, it's fun to see the world through their eyes. So Tish is uh, very much has like a dark, kind of a sarcastic worldview. And she'll, she'll come out with those zingers that I think make her maybe not as scary, maybe more interesting. And maybe if you're laughing along with her, she can hide a few things from you as, as she's going along. So that's, that's kind of how I like 
like to use humor in yeah. a thriller sense. Yeah, and it comes through. And, you know, Kate, you like Kate because you can feel for her because we've all been that first wife. First wife, right. And you feel for, you're just like, oh, that's such a horrible position to be in and with the right. daughter and just, uh Still working at the same business. And, yeah, like, it's her business. Yeah. So every time she got bitchy, I was like, <laughs> it's she. Hmm. yeah maybe so he's a good looking older guy tish knows what she, how to push his buttons <laughs> exactly he knows how to get his attention and that's the thing i mean it is kind of, you know it's a well-told story about the first wife and the second wife but you know a husband leaving his wife for the younger model so um to me that's where it started but then hopefully it got kind of turned around as you went through the story yeah and then we pick up on ashlyn's point of view which i loved also because she's like her mom shall we say <laughs> <laughs> she is like her mom and yeah and I, I i'm glad you liked her point of view too because i my agents weren't sure that she was needed and i really when i was writing it i really enjoyed having her perspective in there and i don't know if you oh you haven't read the other two books but best day ever and the favorite daughter are all first person one point of view the whole way through Okay. So this is my first book that I had multiple characters kind of vying for the spotlight. And so when Ashlyn jumped in and wanted to have her speak, her turn to speak, I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be fun. So I'm glad you like it. Oh, I did. I really did. I enjoyed her, you know, her relationship with her mom. Of course, those of us who have daughters also kind of get their relationship a lot and her relationship with Tish and how, uh, you know, that triangle of women. <laughs> Shall we say? Yes, strong women. <laughs> strong women. Uh, no, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to tell you, I went on Amazon today. You have over 5,000 reviews. It's kind of insane. It hasn't come out yet. <laughs> I was I, like, oh my God. My goodness. Yes. So um, it was selected as an Amazon first reads, and I've never had a book have that before. So I'm like, yay. So I, I had no idea what to expect or really what to expect of the whole journey. And it's been amazing. So there she is, like <laughs> sitting in the Kendall store. Oh, gosh. It's been great. Yeah. And what I love reading was that everybody has such opinions about it, strong <laughs> opinions. Strong, strong, strong opinions. And that's the thing, I think when you write a character or characters that might be both unreliable and maybe not likable on the surface, you have to, I, I think that turns people off, some people off right away. So they'll just, I hate this book, you know, zero stars. But if you give, I mean, some of the point of it is to give it a little time to unfold, right? So that's, um, you know, I find that when people stick with it, usually they'll like it enough to give it three stars, at least sometimes to hug it. So, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you can't really say that back to people who are reviewing and give no. a zero star, but that's okay. Everybody has their opinion. That's true. But it, the strong opinions both ways, more on, more like me. And yes. So of course, when I go into anybody that says anything, I'm like, I want to argue with them. I'm like, no, 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 you didn't read, you didn't. <laughs> I'm not getting the point. Yeah, I know. I couldn't, I couldn't. There's way more people with four and five stars than there were, but I just meant it was interesting to see how women take women. It's so, it's such a fine line to, you know, like between Kate and Tish, okay, we can both, we can go either way and then get like very, women get very up. Like if you bring out something, you know, any kind of anything about, I don't want to say anything about their background, it sparks things, you yeah. know, and it's a very interesting time to be a writer. Very. It really is. I mean, everything, yeah, everything's triggering and I'm actually married to a politician. So that that's interesting oh, that's too, right. so, you know, so there's also <laughs> a lot of trolls regarding that as well. So, you know, it's just a, it's a sticky wicket, but I'm just trying to stick with fiction. <laughs> You know, yes. um, it's supposed to be entertaining and fun. I'm not writing a, um, you yeah. know, a thesis on divorce in America or anything right. else. So right. yeah, it's just, um, it is a fact of, of our lives and our times that uh, we did and are in a big um, time where divorce is a matter of fact. And so anyway, that's kind of where my working with your husband's also, I did that. So those, those two things kind of came together in the story, but that's where yeah. the truth 
Yes. <laughs> that's the end of the truth. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And that's what I was thinking when I was reading some of them. I was like, we are, it's so interesting the way we are with women characters and having to, you know, decide like, you don't have to decide. That's the thing. We don't have to be like Tish Camp, Kate right. Camp. You don't have to take a camp. <laughs> Just read the story and read enjoy story. it for what it is. Did you always know, like, you know, I'm loving women domestic thrillers. I think we are really good at it. I think we do have a perspective, not that men can't write them, but I think that the women get that family, just another side of it. I mean, did you know that that, when you decided you were going to become a writer, was that like, okay, I'm going to be a domestic thriller writer. That's what I'm going to do. I always knew that I loved suspense and not so much like, you know, uh, slasher and scary, but more like the psychological suspense. So I didn't, when I, when I first started writing uh, we had sold our business that my husband and I ran, haha, <laughs> like Kate and John. And uh, <laughs> I found myself at my desk, you know, with my agent and she's like, well, I need you to write something like you wrote for, I wrote a nonfiction book for women entrepreneurs. So she wanted my, my story to kind of mimic the kind of the guidance I was giving to women across the country about how to live a life of your dreams and put your passion into action and make the business, you know, all that stuff. So my first book is very much women's fiction with a little empowerment message all the way through so but then as I just kept writing my stories kept getting darker <laughs> darker they were they were always set in the suburbs always um, having to do with relationships and families but as each one unfolded it just started slipping into a kind of a dark orientation and then with best day ever when Paul popped into my head he's the protagonist in that book he was really dark <laughs> in the psychological sense he had such a unreliable and fun voice and he kind of represented every bad boss i ever had in the back of my head <laughs> all the words start coming out and it was such a fun story to write that's kind of where i guess i found my my real voice for domestic suspense started with best day ever and i love when you're done like what, at, while i'm reading this you walk out to your family and you're like hmm i wonder what you're thinking i wonder what yeah. you're thinking <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, we, we all have like the side we show the public and then what we're thinking about and, and sure. you don't know what's going along in, in people's heads or even just being in a room with some strangers that you're meeting for the first time. You have no idea like who's the narcissist, who's <laughs> all that kind of stuff is out there. Right, right. And like yeah. in the beginning of the book, because we can talk about the beginning, you know, when Kate yeah. finds out about that he's going to leave her it's like blows her away because she's like, you know, I'm busy doing what I thought we were doing. And then when right. it hits you like that, you know, I have been there. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've had a divorce. So I'm just saying like, sometimes you're just doing life and you don't know where it comes from. So yeah. And that kind of, and that kind of like sideswiping is very hard to get past and very hard to recover from. And so that's, that's, I guess, also to your point, I mean, Kate's justified in her feelings of she's got this anger towards John, you know, like we created this business, we had everything going, we, you know, raise this great girl together, daughter, and then you go and do this. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Uh, I can't even say enough good things about this book. I really can't. I, I can't wait to see what it does. That's why I said, oh, the getting the Amazon first reads is huge. I mean, I look forward to mine every month. <laughs> I am one of those people. And then I want all of, well, then I just go get all of them. I'm like, but same with book of the month. Do you do book of the month? Yeah. I just get yeah. them. I, I can't, they want me to decide in it, but it, I still buy them all because I'm like, whatever, I'll just get them all. Yeah. Cause it's so it's curated. And then you get your curiosity peaked, even if you didn't yep. pick that one. And so it's, I, yeah, I think it's the same thing with the first reads program as well. I mean, it seems to be, even if you didn't pick the next wife, maybe you'll check it out, you know, next month. <laughs> <laughs> sure, because you're intrigued by why they're pushing those books anyway. And so you're right. not going to like say no to them. But you know what? You, like I said, you're at four and a half to five stars, 5,000. I mean, that's just incredible. And this cover, I oh, mean, I love the did, cover. What did you think when you saw this? This is what I thought. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm telling you, I'm going to go get that. And then I'm going to, I don't have red lipstick. I'm going to go buy know, red lipstick. Gotta buy. <laughs> it's, it's so fun. And there's so many um, bookstagrammers, you know, doing that with the whole like 
glasses. Oh, are they? Oh my God, yes. I can see that. It's so great, but I cannot ever do it with, without cracking up. So I try to do it, but I can't, like, even if I had red, red lipstick, then my teeth would show because I'm just always laughing. But I love the cover too. They showed me actually two concepts. This just blew me away. I mean, the moment I saw it, I'm like, oh, that is totally, it, it just really pops oh, when you see it. And I yeah. know when I, like I said, when I first opened it up, I was like, wow, this is, and you know, you don't want to judge a book by its cover, but I'm sorry we do. The sunglasses what I love is that you, there is no real face. It's right. just this anonymous looking face. And so you can't really tell because the eyes give things away, don't they? Exactly. So you can't really tell. It's just, it's amazing. And I always look at these too, because I put them on my bookshelves and I always do the, you know, color coded that Instagram has me reorganizing. <laughs> I know I tried to do that. And now it's all slipping. All the purples are going in with the blues. and the <laughs> Yeah, it's just a mess over here. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm looking at my shelves and I'm like, oh, gee, I have to go back to that. When I did that, my kids are like, what did you do to the, did they couldn't figure it out. I'm like, look, it's an ombre. Like, look, oh. they're like, you're, you're weird. Go away. I, know. I have that same reaction from my people. Yeah. How are you going to find anything by color? I'm like, yeah, well, I, I know the colors of books. This is what Instagram has done to our life. You know, we just walk around our house thinking of things to color code. Do. I know. <laughs> anyway, everyone, May First is when you can pre-order this now for sure. D is there an audio to it? I wanted to yes, check. There is. There is. Yeah, there's, yeah, and it sounds really great. I love the actors it, that they hired. Yeah. I love, great. I mean, I do do a lot of audios. I do love a great audio with a thriller. I love, you know. I do too. And it's just such an art to be able to read yes. and narrate and bring you into it. I love it. Yes. They yes. did a great job. Yes. And I saw on your website that you're going to be around book signing some, you know, some local places. So I'm really virtually. <laughs> oh, the virtual. I thought it maybe yeah. was out. No. Uh, virtual. But I mean, you know, it's still, it's great to even be talking to readers just yeah. even if it's sure. Zoom still. So someday yeah. soon we'll all be back in an event. But yeah, no, mine's still virtual. Okay. Well, I, I can't wait until I can go to book signings again. <laughs> so I know, I me too. <laughs> I know. And I used to be so nervous and shy about them. And now I'm thinking, gosh, I just can't wait to get back to it, you know, and just have the human oh. interaction. And I just love like going and taking pictures with you guys. Because even when, I, even though I get to talk to you this way, like I want the picture, like I just do, you know, you know? <laughs> yeah, just, just the interaction. So yeah. fun. And fun. You, you have a lot of cool bookstores down there in Laguna. Yeah. I mean, my favorite is Laguna Beach Books and they've hosted a signing event for me every, every book so far. And they're doing it again on May 7th and, but it's virtual, but everybody can tune in to the zoom. They have information on their website and I do on mine. So that, that they're hosting one. And then I'm doing a joint event event with Liz and Lisa with Mysterious Galaxy. I know I love them too. So that'll be fun. And then I have I another- have to be my best friends. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they they're are so, so great. awesome. I, I so love great. both of them. And they're just down the coast of it in San Diego. So. Say they're right there with you. And yeah. I never talk to both of them at the same time. I've talked talk to one, you know, one or the other. I always say that to them. I'm like, do you, you need a third. You need a third best friend. Like they crack right. me up. I love them so much. So I yeah. know. And just the, the idea of that long of a friendship and then that long of a partnership writing stories together. I was always very envious of that too because I'm like that would be so fun to have a writing partner I like yeah. that they fight and then they talk about it yeah because never you know any other duos that write together like they never talk it's always like oh we love each other we love each other and they're like yeah. taking pictures on Instagram they're like we just had a huge fight smile <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get over it like, yeah I know they talk about how they lock each other in a like a hotel room and they just battle it out over characters I love that visual you know yeah. like who win yeah. you know I know. See, that would be fun. I just get to battle it out with myself. <laughs> you, you get to fight. Do you and, let um your husband read them? No, no. I mean, he will read them if he gets a chance or if I say like, I mean, he will help if I, no, not really. I had a two-year phase where I, I started writing romance, which I really enjoyed. I learned a lot and, it, you know, it's, it's a great emotionally and it's also great because women are in that industry for a reason they they know how to write romance and it's really really empowering if you get down to it 
but which I didn't know until I started writing it but I did have him try to help me with dialogue when I was first starting writing that because I was trying to write this macho guy so I'm like will you read this and, and not even like sex on the page just you know closed door thing but he had to have like words leading up to it and he's like oh my god this is so wrong <laughs> was making fun of my macho guy so I think maybe that scarred me and I haven't let him read it but he would read it he knows what the stories are about let's say okay. that so yeah like he knows he knows that side to you when you're like so look at what I'm gonna have happen <laughs> oh for sure yeah he sleeps with one eye open now all the time yeah he's like how did you even learn that way to kill somebody I'm like I know I don't know it just came like slightly scared what are you researching yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. My search, my search engine history has got to be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so fun talking to you. Everybody go get it. May 1st. I can't Yay. say it. I can't wait. And I will be, I'm going to tune into your Laguna beach thing. I'm going to join. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm sure if you put it on Facebook, I, I will definitely, yeah. I get that. I think, yeah, it's a zoom link. So you have to go on yeah. to Laguna beach book site and then I don't, they probably are doing Facebook too. So yeah. Yeah. They, I have to get notified of all those library thing so I you know as long okay. as I, I get that I will it was so awesome. nice meeting you I Michelle, thank you what this book does and your next thanks one, for hugging it <laughs> and before I let you go the next one I can't believe I forgot to ask you when is the next one coming out oh the next one's called somebody's home and it's coming out next January January 2022 yeah yeah. All right. I can't wait. I'm going to go. I can see in the background, everybody yes. listen to my the best favorite day daughter. ever and, and the, the favorite day. daughter. That's your homework before January. <laughs> I've told January to catch up. Okay. Yeah. So get on it. You got to talk to my other unreliable narrator, see what you think of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you so much, Kara. We'll talk Thanks, soon. Michelle. Great to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye.